sub 65 kilos, sub 10% body fat, ready to be a world tour climber. Let's see what we're doing. So, this video is all about James Knox, who uh, posted his power data just as he signed for the world tour quick step team. So, you can see here we've got his uh, team Wiggins. Well, he's at Team Wiggins at the moment. This is pro, pro cycling stats data. Signed for Quick Step for two years. So, you know, eighth in the Tour of Croatia. Nibs won that, I believe. Second in the GC Tour of Alsace. So, he had some good results. Came second in the Tour de Lavenier, which is when he pretty much got signed up. But for me, the time I knew when he was going to be a World Tour rider is when he posted this. Well, he posted two rides in early August. So, the first one is this. It's a five-hour mainly endurance ride, we can see. Yeah, most of it's endurance, but he had an absolute monster, like, he did, so you can see there, 362 watts, you're like, oh yeah, decent, you're onto his power curve, and you look at the numbers he was doing, he did 380 watts, 380 watts for 21 minutes, which, ordinarily, is not insane, like, if you're 70 kilos, I mean, still, it's like probably world tour power, like, not, cl probably like, domestic pro power, sorry, but then you realise he's 57 kilos and has 6.44 watts per kilo, for 21 minutes after already riding, I think for over like four hours or something. I obviously he was going chilled, but no, sorry, he would he would have ridden for about yeah 30 k before, and then he then does another climb, which was yeah 362 watts. So plus look, there's dropouts because the climb's not. It's like look, there's like dropouts because the climb goes downhill. So even then, anyway. So you look at Rock Corba. And you think, right, he's second best. So Rocca Corba, if you don't know, is one of the most famous climbs in Girona, mainly just because all the professionals test themselves off it. So this ride was literally just him riding to Rocca Corba and just absolutely hitting it as hard as he could up there. So, yeah, he, he got the king of the mountain. Uh, if you look at the top ten, I mean, it's absolutely insane, the people on the top ten. Uh, so Simon Yates... Simon Yates is second in post power. Paddy Bevan, 460 watts for half an hour. Bloody hell. You see some insane numbers. Giles Drake, never heard of him. David Della Cruz. Adam Yates. So Adam Yates did 366 watts in 2015. Keegan Gild... What's his name? Gilderstone. He had a really bad crash. 380 watts. His brother, I guess. Robert Hessing, 406 watts. Matt Schmidt. Lawson Craddock. Like, it's, it's, it's a very, like, the people here, Levi Leipheimer in June 2006, like, he's number one. Like, obviously, maybe, like, we'll look at, um, that's weird, though, wasn't the 14th? That's really odd. August, August, July, that's really weird. But anyway, yeah, his is pretty much the same, just absolutely smashing up the climb, and then, yeah, so fair enough. You can see that James Knox is a world, world-class climber, but anyway, let's, let's go on to the numbers. So, actually... For half an hour, if you want to be a world tour climber, you need to do what, like 6.2 watts per kilo for half an hour, or like 6.4 for 20 minutes, which is pretty, pretty insane. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I thought I was quite good, and then I like looked at his numbers, and I was like, yeah, I'm still quite bad. Um, I mean, it's it's just insane. Like 380 watts is like very good, even if you're, like, 80 kilos, most people would be, like, pretty happy with that, 70 kilos, you're like, yeah, you should be professional, but, like, 59 kilos, or 57 kilos, or whatever it is, it's just absolutely mental, I, I just couldn't believe it when I saw it, and as soon as, as soon as I saw those power, I was like, right, that's it, he's signing World Tour, like, definitely, because Quickstep would have seen that power, well, they, like, via training peaks, or they would have done some testing with him, and they would have seen the numbers he can do, it's annoying, because Pavel Sivikov, well, he used to post his power data, and then he joined Sky. Um, he came, He was another really big hitter in the under-23. I think he won the G Giro Valle de Alster. Um, and Ergen Bernal doesn't post his power either. So, of the main climbers for the current under-23 crop, James Knox is the only one. Um, so, yeah, it's absolutely insane, the numbers he's hitting. Um, if you want to be a world tour climber, then you better lose some weight, gain some power, and hope you can find... Dr. Friedman to give you some dodge injections or some bollocks anyway. Cheers for watching. See ya.